Hello everybody, Black Ops 3 player here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we played Help Wanted again, speedrunning it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in my first uh, speedrun video, uh, but I wanted to end up getting uh, under two and a half hours uh, on Help Wanted, and today I have finally achieved that. I mean, you guys won't see this until probably uh, four to eight days after I did it, but you know. But it's all on Twitch, so I guess I'll put a link to my Twitch uh, in the description if I remember to, if you want to see uh, me play FNAF games and whatnot live. Uh, anyways, we didn't do it first try. No. Uh, my first try, I got sub three hour, though, so that was pretty cool. But uh, sub two and a half proved to be a little more difficult. And uh, Help Wanted uh, decided to, uh, that it uh, didn't really want me to get the sub two and a half a few times. Uh, there was definitely some rage involved. Head, headphone users, a uh, quick volume warning. I uh, shout a little bit. Wrong, I mean, it's all fucked up. It's just unbelievably fucked up. Like, I can't even begin to explain to you how fucked this shit is. I don't want to play this shit. I don't. I don't want to play this shit. I mean, runs dead because if I, I'd have to one shot Plush Babies too, and Funtime Foxy too, and that's, I, I don't even think I can, I don't think I'll ever be able to do that. Don't want to play a shit ass game. I'm gonna go outside and fucking do something aside from play this shit ass game. Nice. All right, cool. We win. I'm gonna save like a minute here. Maybe. Maybe like 30 seconds actually. I have a question. Do you see the green bar right there? Do you see that green bar? That means that vent is sealed. That means the vent is sealed. And if the vent is sealed, he cannot get through. If he cannot get through, he cannot get into the vent right there to kill me. HOW?! Because I sealed the vent, and he just said, fuck you, I'm going through anyways. You, you cannot do that! What do you mean?! I mean, the run's dead, right? There's literally uh, no other good time save I can do aside from, oh yeah, do plush babies within the first few tries. That ain't happening! Fuck, I'm probably gonna struggle on him at this point. <sighs> oh. Okay. Right? Sealing the vent! Sealing the vent! The vent? Yeah, I'm pressing. He's cheating. Like, wh I called you to camera two, and you don't go to camera two. This is bullshit. It's not even worth streaming this shit anymore. I I don't want to stream anymore. I do not want to stream this shit game anymore. I never want to play this shit again. Never. Not for a million dollars would I ever want to play this shit! Thank you! For giving me something! Fuck! Man! Just. I've, I've called you over there! Right? I have called you over there, right? So, once I fix the camera, you should be at Cam 10! He should be at cam 10, correct? Because I called him over there. He's at camera 10. Now let's look at this. It's sealed. I'm going to seal it again. I'm going to seal it twice. I'm not going to look off this camera nothing. This shit is going to be sealed. Sealed. It is sealed. If you somehow go through that shit, I'm uninstalling. Chica, how the fuck does Chica jump scare me? This game makes no sense. I have to be on like camera 5 or 6 for Chica to fucking jump scare me. I'm on fucking camera 10. 
<laughs> wow! I literally have it sealed! It is sealed! I sealed it twice! I sealed it twice, bro! I sealed that shit twice! Well... Fucking sealed it twice. Sealed it twice, bro. Twice I sealed it. Don't update my fucking times, bro. Nope, I'm not playing this shit. That... Hope you guys enjoyed this fucking shit game. Fuck this goddamn game. Fucking done with it, dude. I f is the game actually fucking bugged? I'm pretty sure the game's actually fucking bugged or something because it, I sealed it twice. I, I it was sealed. That vent was closed. That vent could not have been more closed. Okay? How does he get through? Well, I gave you a fair volume warning. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, Help Wanted wasn't exactly uh, cooperating with me trying to uh, improve my speedrun time. Uh, a little bit of context to this run. I actually, my mom went out to uh, get some groceries, and then when she came back, she was going to be on a work call. And uh, her office is like right next to my room where I'm playing. So, basically, she was going to be gone for three hours, and uh, assuming I was going to get the sub two and a half, I would have like two and a half to three hours to uh, get everything set up and do a full run. So, I was kind of on a time crunch and uh, when I did this run. But, uh, yeah, here we have the uh, highlights of the run where I got sub two and a half. Okay, see, so what they're supposed to do is they walk past, right, and go into the corner. Hi, Chica. What you're supposed to do is now you go into the corner. But apparently, in my 20 plus hours of playing this game, and probably spent like a good hour or two just on FNAF 1 in general, I've somehow never fucking seen that, and it's now happened twice in a row. So immediately into the run, we already discovered an issue. I don't know how many hours, actually. I probably should have checked before I started this voiceover. But I think I probably have, like, 25-ish hours on this game. I've owned it for over a month now. I've done probably, like, five, six runs. Uh, you know, some were a bit shorter uh, from that little rage comp you guys saw. But... I've done quite a few runs, I've played a, enough of the FNAF 1 section, and I've somehow never seen that. I don't know if that's the way uh, it's intended to be, where, like, they'll sometimes, like, go to the door, and instead of going to the corner, they'll, like, peek in, and you gotta shut the door for a moment to get them to go into the corner instead. But I've never seen that until now. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, just a small issue, you know, it wasn't, it was just like, oh, I see him coming towards the door, I'll just shut it for a second or two, let him pass, and then open it. Come to the door, shut it, you know. It's just a small extra step, but I, I don't know how I've never seen that before. Okay. Apparently the stream died. I'm gonna pause timer here and figure out what the fuck's going on. Because something's going on that shouldn't be going on. So I'm gonna we pause it here. Shut the fuck up. Uh, it says I'm still streaming. So, a little bit into the stream, it was probably like 25 to 30 minutes at this point, because I had like two runs where I died because of that little thing I was just talking about in, uh, in the last voice clip. But, uh, apparently, so I had two people in my stream, and apparently the stream just like died or something. So I ended up ending the stream, starting a new one, uh, and it seemed to be good after that. I would also like to apologize. I don't, I don't know what it is, but there's like a little bit of a background sound. Uh, I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. But there's that little background sound uh, in my mic audio, and I don't really know what it's from. I don't know. I've had a couple different headsets. They've all done the same thing for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, on top of that, just specifically this one time that I played the game, or at least in the recording, uh, it seems like a lot of the game audio is doubled, and by that, like you know. I mean, like, in FNAF 1, when I'm, you know, swapping between cameras, it makes a sound whenever you select a camera. That sound would play twice. Uh, and same with, like, pressing buttons and a lot of other stuff. 
I, I don't know why, but uh, I just wanted to mention that and apologize for it. There's not really anything I can do about it. I'm just gonna keep playing and hopefully that fixed whatever was going on. If you ever get the chance, I try to either Halo, either a Halo CE or a Minecraft speedrun. Oh god, I couldn't speed my. I, I could not speed. I actually unplugged my mic. <laughs> yeah, I could never speedrun Minecraft though. The lights are freaking me out right now. Hey, Freddy, how you doing, man? Speedrun for now for no. What am I doing? I mean, when I play the other FNAF games, I'm gonna like time myself playing them um, and just see how long it takes me and whatnot. Oh, I need to stall you. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's a night, so Freddy can't come again. Hey, Foxer, how you doing? God, max brightness is a cheat code. I swear. Okay, Freddy's gonna wanna- probably gonna wanna come now. Alright, Freddy, you can come now. Fuck! No, you can't, no, you can't, don't come yet, Fre Freddy- Freddy, don't come, Freddy, don't come, Freddy, don't come! <laughs> okay, now you can come. Don't question my methods. My methods of interrogation. Freddy, are you- are you gonna come, Freddy?! That's not good. I mean- it doesn't seem like it's gonna kill me, so I guess we just don't have to deal with Freddy until... Okay. Well, he's just gonna come back. Okay. Is that a feature? I don't know. Hello. Is Freddy gonna be able to come? Yeah, I mean, maybe. Like, right at the end. Mangle my ass. What the fuck? I can barely read chat, but the little bit that I'm seeing is just... I, don't, <laughs> I wish I couldn't see it. <laughs> Freddy's gonna come. <laughs> you pronounce your love for Sansy. Uh... <laughs> oh, my game tabbed out? Again? Okay, Schmangle's coming. For daddy, no, that's that's security breach, Freddy. For daddy is security breach, Freddy. Glamrock, Freddy. Fredor. <laughs> These things happen sometimes. All right, Freddy's gonna want to come three times. I don't know why I'm gonna come three times. We could probably. Freddy's gonna want to come three times. If we can make him only come twice, that would be great. Get out here, little shit. I gotta go. I gotta masturbate. <laughs> Alright, see you later. <laughs> Masters. Oh, man. I actually unplugged my mic again. God damn it. I'm just struggling a little bit. Don't worry about it. Oh, hi, Freddy. How you doing, man? I'm having some issues. My brain is not braining. <laughs> God damn it, Foxy! I'm trying to talk to Freddy! I'm trying to have a conversation, man! God damn it! Alright, well. I'm trying to have a. <laughs> What's <the> comfy? Shut the fuck up. Alright, this is. I hate Foxy. Steel Wool single-handedly has brought Foxy down the list. He, he used to be number one uh, as my favorite character in FNAF. Until I played this game. The FNAF 2 section, specifically. And the Parts and Service Foxy. Parts and Service Foxy can go f*** himself. He's my favorite, to be honest. Uh, he, he, like, dead ass. he's not as high. Like, he, Foxy was my favorite. Un like, <laughs> legit, he is been brought down a little bit because of this. Who, wait, who am I new- who's my new favorite FNAF character? I honestly don't know. Get out of here, little shit. F 
Foxy, get the Foxy, I'm trying to have another conversation with Freddy, and you just keep coming in trying to ruin it. God damn, dude. See, Freddy, this, this is what I'm talking about, man. Foxy just has no respect. And he might be jealous, man. I don't know. He's got no respect, and it's just really rude. You know? Let's have our conversation, but after this, if you could, you know, go maybe check in with Foxy. Or maybe, like, Bonnie or Chica show up, I can... Yeah, Bonnie, hey, can you go talk to Foxy, man? He's being really disrespectful. I don't like it. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. See, that's how you communicate. Foxy could take notes or something. I don't know. Come, bear. No! <laughs> Get out of my chat! <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, uh, yes. Freddy, come, bear. Foxy, get the figgity fuck out of here. Oh, so Freddy decided to just leave. I, I guess he really did go to talk to Foxy. Alright, cool. Hey, Freddy, you want to go talk to Foxy, I see. How'd that go? Went well. You think he's learned his lesson? I mean, that's good. I mean, I don't see him here trying to interrupt us right now, so, you know, that's a, that's a good starting point. Alright, you have a good rest of your night, Freddy. We won't be seeing him again. See, Foxy, thank you for waiting your turn, man. See? See, we can be nice. Okay, Freddy can't come. I may have peeked at <laughs> I saw something go 18 plus and come bear. The new face of playtime! Only for 18 plus. Come <laughs> there. After some shenanigans from me and chat, uh, we ended up speeding through uh, FNAF 2 and 3, and we got the plush babies 1. Hey, bud. How you doing? It looks like you're you actually picked the second worst possible time to come into my room. Looking either for food for my garbage or pets. Dude, we'll do the aggressive strategy here. Time for jump scare, yeah, but I'm just gonna restart level. I'm just gonna pause and restart level if I can. It's a little faster. So I ended up beating Plush Babies 1 on uh, my second try. So that was pretty good. Uh, and also the distinction between Plush Babies 1 and Plush Babies 2 is it's basically a harder version of pretty much every level in the game, which you have to do the normal ones first, I think, or at least I like to do the normal ones first anyways. In Plush Babies 2, basically instead of uh, random plushies and then the plush babies being in the mix, the plush ba there's a bunch of plush babies along with the few that you need to look for that are actually going to kill you that you have to flash with the light. Um, I ended up... Uh, implementing a strategy I, which I saw from Astral Spiff. I've mentioned him a few times on the channel, I think in both of my previous Help Wanted videos. But I actually ended up seeing one of his VODs on his VOD channel and he was, said something along the lines of like, oh, we've got like, you know, red, blue, yellow cycle or whatever the order was. And I didn't know what that meant. But then I was like, wait, those are the three colors of the three plush babies that are always coming after you. And, and the thing is he would get like a little break after. So I ended up implementing that strategy uh, for Plush Babies 2. I think I did it on my second attempt for Plush Babies 1 as well. But basically, you know, you'll see like, oh, hey, I see the red one. You flash them, get rid of them. Oh, there's yellow. Okay, flash them. Where's blue? Oh, there's blue. Flash them. So now we have red, yellow, blue cycle, meaning I see, I flash red, blue, and yellow, and then I have a short break to let the flashlight recharge. It actually makes it a lot easier. So you'll probably see me implement that, and I will show my full attempt of me on the uh, attempt where I beat Plush Babies 2, but that's a little further down the line yet. I also was able to just speed right through Funtime Foxy on my first try as well. Are you having fun, yes? That's great to hear. Okay, now it's parts of service. Right to left. Right to left, right? Great job. Depo well done. Deposit the right eye. Good job. To open... Well done. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. Press the blinking button again to fear. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you remove them, then close up the faceplate. So I ended up going through parts and service. Uh, when I got to Freddy, he just kept killing me despite me doing the correct thing. I, I might have been going too fast because I ended up slowing down a little bit. Uh, and then it kind of let me actually, you know, not die when I did the right thing. 
Uh, but I did, because of that, Freddy being a bit annoying, I did end up losing some time. But I did make it back in vent repair, which I am very good at. So, that was quite nice. Just kidding, on the best. Oh, we saved, like, 20 seconds. Nice. Okay, fun time Freddy. I don't understand how this shit works, like, at all. So now it's on to Night Terrors 1, which is four levels. Uh, Funtime Freddy, which I don't really understand the mechanics. I mean, you just use a flashlight on Bon Bon and Bonnet so they don't jump scare you, which doesn't kill you, but uh, it's loud as hell. So you probably want to get rid of them when you can. Uh, and then Funtime Freddy will be at the end of the hall. You just shut the door for like 10 to 20 seconds. He stays there a while. I've even had a few times where he's gotten like right up to the door. I, I don't really know how it works. Uh, then I think it's Nightmare Own next. I, I don't know the exact order, but I know there's Nightmare Own where it's just like, hey, you know, go to each door, shut them out, and then there's tentacles coming from under the bed in the closet and the ceiling. Flashlight them to get rid of them so you also don't die. Then there is Circus Baby, which is super easy. Her, she'll just be walking around with her random voice lines playing, and then, uh, and then you, her eyes will turn red when she looks at you. Sometimes you close the closet. I mean, you can try and count the time, but, like, once the plushies start going, or whatever fucking sound they make, uh, then I usually just shut the clo or open the closet after that, because I've shut it long enough, and she's not worried about me anymore. And then there's Nightmare Fredbear, which is quite easy, actually, because, like, you know, he'll go to the door, you shut the door, after a few seconds, you can check the hallway, just flash your light for a second, and then sometimes he'll come right back to the door, and you can, like, get him to just stay there for a while. Also, in this, in uh, Help Wanted, Nightmare Fredbear is super nice, because he doesn't laugh that often, but when he does, you don't even have to go to the bed. You can actually just, like, be at one of the doors, turn around, and shine him, shine the flashlight on him while he's on the bed and get rid of him. And if he's not there, he's in the closet. Just go to the closet and shut the door. I think that's all four of them. So, yeah. <sighs> I think we save an extra, like, minute or, some, or two here. Easy, yes, sir. Yeah, we saved a minute and five seconds. A small time save of a minute and five seconds is very nice. Uh, then I moved on to the Night Fives for FNAF 1, 2, and 3. Got them all on my first try. And now it's on to Dark Rooms for Plush Babies 2, aka the harder version. Okay, we gotta figure out our cycle, because we have a cycle. After each cycle, we get a short break to let the flashlight recharge. We're going to do aggressive start. Okay, a few quick things I want to mention. Uh, you'll probably hear me saying, like, the uh, I want to do the aggressive strat, which basically there's two ways you can start. You can either start by immediately shining your light, and then they start a little slower, or you can wait a few seconds until they automatically go in the vent themselves, and then they'll kind of come at you, like, right away. I like to do this aggressive start most of the time, but uh, just to, you know, specify or clarify that. Also, I want to mention that I am a literal god, and with the new strategy that I got from Spiff, thank you very much, I actually ended up beating this on my second try. And then I went on to Funtime Foxy and beat it on my first try. So I'm going to give you guys the full uncut version of me beating Plush Babies on my second try, and my reaction to beating uh, Funtime Foxy on my first try. So a uh, quick volume warning for that. Let's just get him right away. Fuck it. Okay, I can't see your color. So we got one. Okay, red. Unknown red. Unknown. Okay, well, seems like red is in the middle. Blue. So blue, red, yellow is what we're thinking. Yeah, blue, red, where's yellow?
I beg to differ. Red, blue. Where's yellow? Oh, I'm using my flashlight way too much. Okay, I think that's yellow. No, that's blue, then red. Oh, rare spawn. It's blue. Red, yellow. Blue, red, yellow. Okay, I need recharge. I don't have time. So right now, cycle is blue, red, yellow. Blue. Yellow. Red. Which also happened to be voice line. We should have a short break now. Might have seen one up there, I don't know. Ooh, oh, fuck! Okay, I got you anyways, blue. Yellow. Where's red? I have one bar of battery, please. Oh my god, holy shit. Blue. Red. Yellow. Blue. Red. Yellow. Blue. Break. Where I spawn with red. Blue. Yellow. We got them both there. Double. HOLY SHIT! SECOND TRY ON THE HARD ONE! HOLY FUCK! OH MY GOD! Okay, okay. We just gotta lock it in. We gotta lock this shit in for Funtime Foxy and it's a free sub two and a half. It's actually free if I beat Funtime Foxy. Okay, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. Because this shit's not going to be that easy, right? Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Don't scream if you make it. Oh my god, I won't scream. Holy shit, though. I- This is actually so good. That's a split. Dude, that's a split. Dude. Look at the splits. Boom. Parts and service. 26. Six and a half. Obviously, I was very, very excited and pleased because we had now 26 minutes and I think that says 30 or 47 seconds of time save. That is insane. And as I said, that pretty much guarantees the fact that I'm at two hours and eight minutes at that point pretty much guarantees that I get the sub two and a half because that is by far the hardest part. I got on my second try for Plush Baby's first try, Funtime Foxy 2, which is insane. And uh, I made it through parts and service with no issues. Uh, on to vent repair, which, uh, well, normally goes pretty smooth, but uh, you'll see. Split, one, two, vent repair. 30 minute time save. 30 minute time save. That's actually massive. Oh, they all open. Wait, I can't see. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Okay, that shit was bugged for sure. That shit was bugged. I was clicking on the thing, it wasn't working. I didn't have a flashlight. There was two of them? I don't- is there supposed to be two there? I don't know. Uh, don't worry, I just did a little bit of a stupid, and, uh, it turns out that when all three open, you actually have to press the button from the first vent, or I guess the middle vent it would be. You have to press that button to get your flashlight and make everything else, like, work properly. And I, it just, I only died, like, two or three times figuring that out. Uh, but then I made it through the first level of vent repair pretty easily. A little bit of an oopsie, but it's fine. We might lose, like, a minute or two. That's fine. We need to cut 22 and a half minutes. We're gonna be at, like, 28 to 30 minutes cut right now. My menuing's good, we can make up for most of that. Fuck off with your shit, bro. Bonnie's completely blocking it, like I actually can't see it. Oh. 
What do you mean? How is that the wrong one? We're not doing this. Guys, we're not doing this. Guys! Guys! What the fuck? How? It's, it's the one that it fucking goes to! That's the one it goes to! Never died on Vent Repair before until now. Until they do some stupid shit when I'm on the absolute god run. Fucking please, man. Please. Please don't fuck me. Well done. I didn't consent. Please, bro, please. Oh my god, don't fucking tab out. Please. Please. Fuck! 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 You can't do this to me. You actually can't fucking do this to me. Stop! You have violated the law. So I ended up dying a bit more on the first part of uh, the second level of Vent Repair. There's only two levels, by the way. I died to Springtrap, because, you know, there's a foxy bit with the four, then you go to Springtrap, then in the Anard section. But on the Springtrap section, I got three, and then it's just, oh, press the last one, you're good to go. Press the last one, and Springtrap kept moving towards me and then killed me. On my next attempt, I pressed three, he was getting close, I pressed the fourth, was good to go, and he stopped and backed off. Which he didn't do the attempt prior, which got me killed. And then I think I got uh, an Ard's section done on my next try. Now, the second section, the second of the three sections for Event Repair 2, I ended up doing with no problem. Because the first part, it's RNG on like how the wires are going to go and whatnot, with the threat of being killed if you get it wrong or are too slow or whatever. Except for the first level, I don't think there's really much of that. But... Then the third level gave me some trouble. Because it's always the same pattern for the third like part of the level. Always. One, two, three on the first part. Then the next part of it is just press the thing to flip them around three times and then press two once and then you're good to go. And then you just press the button and you're good to go. But you're going to see what happens here. Also, my mom ended up getting home, coming home uh, with groceries uh, in the middle of this. So you're going to hear that. On an art, whatever. Okay, this is just one, two, three. Motion trigger, boiler room. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, give me a minute. You've got to be kidding. You've, you've got to be joking that the game's going to do this to me. You've got to be joking the game's going to do this to me. <laughs> you've got to be joking, dude. Please! No! Well done. Oh my god, okay, okay. Why, why? I did it, I did one, two, three. And that's what you always do. I did one, two, three. It wasn't working. Okay, I spin it around one time, right? Spin around one time. Spin around a second time. Spin around a third time, and press two. Why is it different? There's stuff in the back. Why is it different? Too. Why is it different? Did you hear me? Yes. I. I'm sorry. This game is making me angry right now, and I'm doing so good, and I need to not do what it's doing right now. Fuck game, please, please. What am I doing wrong? How is it wrong? How is it wrong? Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Now I just press a button and we're done. I press a button and we're done. Okay, I, it's just the last level. I just have to do the last level quickly and we're fine. And I don't remember the last level. Stop tapping out. Stop tapping out. Stop tapping out, please. A perfect 72 degrees. Wait. 
And that was Vent Repair Gun, after some bullshit of it, uh, doing whatever the hell it did. I, uh, definitely lost some time. But I ended up moving on to the final level of the game, which is, uh, uh, the last dark, or not dark rooms, what? Night Terrors, that's what it is. Which is basically just a maze, which I, uh, kinda remembered, kinda forgot, but I ended up making it through and getting sub two and a half. As soon as the curtain opens here. Boom. Night six. I can just give me a minute. I gotta, I gotta bring groceries in. My mom just got back chopping. I will be back in like five minutes. Yeah, a very weak celebration. Uh, normally, I would be kind of like jumping up and down, like, "Oh yes, let's fucking go! We did it!" and shouting and all that fun stuff. But uh, as I mentioned uh, once or twice throughout this video already, my mom was uh, out shopping. I had to go bring in groceries, but uh, she came back just in time to get on a video call for work. And her office is right outside my room, or just down the hall a bit, so I couldn't be shouting and stuff. Uh, a viewer from my chat, who was with me for most of the streams. Uh, they ended up uh, requesting me to play Night 6, which, fun fact, for Five Nights at Freddy's 2, uh, there's a Night 6 in this game. And it's basically just, you know, like, because the other Five Nights are just without the Withers, except for Foxy, obviously. But the other Withers get introduced in Night 6, but the, fu the thing is, it didn't get added until uh, after, I think it got added with the Halloween update or whatever. So technically, you don't actually have to do it to beat the game. The game lets you beat the game without doing it. But I did go back and give it one shot. <sighs> okay, I am back. I think this took me like almost 10 minutes because <sighs> there was a lot to carry in. They were heavy as hell. All right, I gotta be kinda quiet. Play night six, I can play night six, no problem. But first, before anything else, I gotta save this. I promise I'm not fat. Uh, <laughs> I was breathing so heavily because I just spent like eight minutes running in and out of the house with a bunch of heavy bags of groceries. So, uh, yeah. I was doing as fast as I could. <laughs> there was quite a few uh, things to bring in. But yeah, I ended up going to night six. I only gave it one shot, and uh, it kind of ended like this. Okay, Toy Freddy's on his way. Bonnie, you're here. We might double up with Withered Freddy. I don't know. Say what you want, I beat that. I beat it. It was 5 a.m., about to be 6 a.m. I beat it. Yes, this is night six. I, I consider that beating it. It was 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m., close to six. Bonnie came in, I put the mask on, he went away, I took it off, and then he killed me, which is bullshit. Do it again. How about no? Because I want to eat my pizza. I got my sub two and a half hour. There's four of us. I want to eat my pizza, man. Well, you know, that's kind of unfortunate. I uh, put on the mask, Bonnie came in, he went away, took off the mask, and then he killed me. I, I don't know. I was pretty much at 6 a.m., so I considered I, I consider that beating it. And it's not like I had to. One chatter just wanted to see me uh, try it, so I, I, I did try it. Uh, yeah, I just messed around for a little bit and then uh, got off. I had a pizza to eat because my mom also brought me a pizza. Thanks, Mom. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I think that's it. You know, sub two and a half. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, feel free to share this around because I uh, I spent like probably a, a roughly like fifty. Eh, I don't know. At least double digits of hours of playing this game. Quite a few times over a longer period of time. But uh, you know, I'll spend three to four hours editing this. Then I gotta export it, and it's gonna spend all night, probably until like fucking four in the morning. The fucking upload to YouTube, because I crank the, the quality settings, because, you know, max quality, because I can. It's on PC that I'm recording editing on, so, you know. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.